Weeks ago, we told you about a strong odor detected in Galena Park. Officials never figured out what was causing it. And some residents told us odors are just a part of life in the community, which is surrounded by refineries. But Galena Park and their authorities feel there is more that can be done to ensure their residents have healthy air to breathe. Liliana Pearson is in Galena Park tonight, where leaders announced on this Earth Day their plans to create a safer community. Liliana, the community already has some monitors in place. Why aren't they enough? Tom, this is actually one of those systems right behind me. It's air quality testing that is being hosted by the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality. But the fire chief tells me one of the issues the system has is that there is a lag in the data. Just because it is looking at air quality doesn't mean it'll tell you the same day if it detects a dangerous chemical. So the city is looking to change that with a new $45,000 system and university partnership. Trucks creating exhaust, plants refining chemicals. It's a combination that makes Galena Park more likely to experience poor air quality. Those are all irritants. Those are all things that can cause problems, health issues, asthma, um, exacerbate COPD, exacerbate, um, you know, congestive heart failure, all those sorts of things. And after the 2019 ITC plant explosion, community leaders knew it was time to take air quality testing and safety alerts into their own hands. This is a first for, for the city of Galena Park. The city paid around $45,000 for four of these systems that will monitor air quality in real time and be able to alert emergency management right away when the air quality is dangerous, what kind of chemical it's detecting, and more. Potentially look to see which direction these pollutants are coming from um, to help us better understand how we can protect our citizens. The city partnered with scientists at Texas A&M who will take the collected data and interpret it. This, this will, will really help us understand uh, what, what we need to do in the future. And it will only better protect Galena Park, but surrounding communities as well. What, what happens here in Galena Park also affects people in Jacinto City. It, it affects people in the northeastern part of the county, north of us, west of us, depending on which direction the wind is blowing. And the city did announce the new system today for Earth Day, but it's not going to be operational for the next couple weeks.